Welcome back to Midnight in Salem. It's getting close to midnight, so Nancy's going to check out the Hathorn house. Yeah, let's check out the haunted house at midnight. That sounds like a great idea, Nancy. I can see why she's such a famous detective. Well, nobody's out here because it's super late. Let's just go straight to the Hathorn house on the other side of the cemetery. Oh man, it's starting to rain. Ugh, I forgot to bring an umbrella. What was that? Is that a monster or is it a tree? Huh. Oh, it's just... Ah! Oh! Jeez! Okay. Not creepy. Not at all. It's just a fake ghost. And it's the Hardy Boys! Frank! Nancy, you sound... excited. Yeah, well, guess where I am right now. I, uh, wouldn't even begin to. Salem, Massachusetts. Joe, how the heck did you guys know? We read about the Hathorn House in the Globe. Suspected arson. Your name was mentioned. Not as a suspect, obviously. <laughs> Tegan Perry mentioned she had hired you to investigate. Hired? Huh. That's news to me. I came here as a favor for Deirdre. Deirdre Shannon? Wow. That's surprising. Yeah. It's a strange case all around. I can't believe I was hired to work on this case. I didn't know I was getting paid. I wonder how big my paycheck is. Anyway, uh, hey, Hardys, what are you guys doing? So, what can I help you guys with? Well, we're working this case, and a few legal questions have arisen. My father would probably be more helpful than me, guys. Yeah, well, we'd prefer to call you because of, you know, history. What my brother is trying to say is that there are some similarities to an old case we worked on. Sure. If you want to send me your notes, I can look them over for you. Great. That's great. Salem's pretty close to Boston. If you guys have the time, you should come up here and check it out while I'm in town. Really? Yeah. It would be good to catch up. Eh, I don't know, Nancy. With our special detective powers, we might be mistaken for witches. Heard they don't fare well up there. Are you kidding me? They love you guys. Did you know that Salem is the only police force that has a witch as an official emblem? Hmm, I don't think that's true. I'll bet you on it. Okay, you're on. I'll take payment when we arrive in Salem. Maybe in a week or so. A week? Hopefully I won't be here then. But if you can make it up earlier, great. Good talking to you, Nance. Yeah, same to you two. Bye. I have to say I am super curious about the case the Hardy Boys are working on, so it's similar to one of the cases that Nancy and the Hardys solved together. I wonder which one. Is is it Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon? Could be uh could be the creature of Kapu Cave. Or maybe even Woo. There's the Hathorn House. Yep, definitely was set on fire recently, and there's a light upstairs. Who's there? Who's that? Who's sneaking around? I don't know. I don't see anyone here. Anyway, the deadly device. I think that's the other uh, big mystery that Nancy and the Hardys helped solve together. Oh, they were also in Labyrinth of Lies. Uh, to you, I, I, uh, okay. Oh. Are you Lauren Holt? You're trespassing. This is private property. I'm giving you one chance to explain yourself. Okay, okay, calm down. Okay, um, I saw someone in the abandoned house. I saw a light in the window. Wanted to see if anyone was home. Yeah, well there isn't, so you can leave. This place isn't meant for your enjoyment. Enjoyment? Yeah, I know your type. Destruction enthusiasts. 
You take photos of destroyed buildings and accidents and such, post them online, trying to get likes off of other people's misery. Uh, wh what? No, that's totally not me. Besides, I don't even have a camera. I don't have a camera on me. What do I look like, an idiot? You have a phone, don't you? Can I come in? Well, you're not leaving, are you? Okay, Nancy invites herself in. Good My job, Nancy. Nancy what do you want, Nancy Drew? Well, I wanted to talk to you about... About the Hathorn House. Sit down. You drink tea? Yes, of course. I didn't mean to lie to you, Lauren. Yes, you did. You wanted to talk to me by any means, so here we are. So, what do you want to know? I don't know. I don't think Nancy really lied to Lauren. Nancy really did see a light inside the house, and Nancy really isn't here to take random pictures of destroyed houses. No, 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 no. Nancy's here to investigate. And, um, yeah, let's talk to Lauren. She's one of our main suspects. Uh, let's start by apologizing. Look, Lauren, I'm sorry for the awkward introduction. Look, Lauren, I apologize for approaching you like I did. It was wrong, and I should have known better. I appreciate you being straight with me. I'm sorry, I've been a little angry. I've been dealing with a lot lately. So, uh, what were you doing two nights ago? when I was robbed in the castle. What were you doing two nights ago? Two nights ago? Why? The house was burned a week ago. Different case. Might be related. I was in my shop, like I was every night. Anyone see you? Tourists. No one who is still in town, but I have sales receipts to prove it. You come by Luminous Infusions and I'll show you. Hmm. Thanks. I just might do that. Is Luminous Infusions your shop? Yes. What do you do there? Just curious. It's a tea room and modern apothecary. You know, before there was a pharmacist, the town relied on an herbalist to provide medicines for headaches and sickness and energy and stuff like that. Interesting. Did Francis Tuttle teach you this? No, I taught myself. Oh, cool. Okay, so she was Francis's caretaker, in addition to running this uh, shop. So I should note we are not inside uh, the Hathorn house now. Ooh, is that a picture of Francis Tuttle? Cool. Nice. Yeah, no, we're inside, uh, ooh, yummy looking food, delicious. Uh, we're inside the, the carriage house where Lauren lives. What can you tell me about the history of the Hathorn house? Built by Judge John Hathorne in 1695, the man flat out stole the land from the people he sentenced to death. Property has changed hands many times over the years, with Francis Tuttle being the most recent owner. So, is there a will? Have you looked for the will? Of course, but I can't find it. Believe me, I've tried to find it, and now the judge has given me days to deliver or the town will take control. I don't have a copy, but I know one exists. Francis told me all the time that the Hathorn House and its grounds would be mine if something ever happened to her. She knew that I would take care of this place better than anyone else. What happens to you? I won't be here anymore. But I have representation, a professional lawyer. Her name's Alicia Cole. She's helping me out. Yeah, I've met Alicia. So Alicia's helping Lauren try to find the will before the deadline. I really do appreciate you talking to me. It's hard. I, I want... Look, I don't really know who set fire to the house, but I know that I want to stay here. It means something to me. It's the only home I've ever had. So, uh, hey, I saw this weird ghost thingy outside. So, I saw the ghost out in the cemetery. The Scarecrow? Yeah, I've heard there were ghosts out here, but all I saw was that. Do you believe in ghosts? <sighs> I've seen a lot of weird things. So far, I've yet to find one without a rational explanation. Then there's nothing to talk about. But why does everyone think there are ghosts out here? A town this old is bound to have some unbelievable stories. So you've seen one? You don't live here. You wouldn't understand. 
So you have. I'm getting a little tired. I think we've talked enough, don't you? Of course. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Lauren really doesn't want to talk about that ghost. Hmm. What the? Whoever is doing this, you're not frightening me away. Not possible. That's not possible. Curse not the darkness. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Drew. What's going on? You were answering your phone. What's wrong? I saw it. Her. I guess it could have been a him too. It was too confusing to really make out. What are you talking about? The ghost, Deirdre. The ghost in half the The one you were talking about. I saw it. Wow. Never thought you'd try to pull a joke like this. I underestimated you. This is a really good performance. Very un-Nancy Drew-like. It's not a joke. Deirdre, I saw her. Didn't you want me to see it? Didn't you want me to look into it? Well... Yeah, but I didn't think for a second that you would. I guess I thought you'd go up there and find smoke and mirrors or whatever it is you do. You're saying it's real? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not used to being so freaked out. Wait, you didn't leave my car out there, did you? What? No, no. You calm down enough to drive back. It's outside. Good. I could get you more chowder don't think it'll help. I need answers. Okay, so let's go through it. I do find strangely calming. Okay. Okay, so Nancy saw the ghost and she is totally freaked out. It was, it was scary, Deirdre. And Deirdre is totally not even kind of paying attention to me. She's just staring at the wall or something. Thanks, Deirdre. I don't know how to explain I saw something. I don't know what to tell you, Drew. It's as weird as Moonchunk cheese ice cream and sandals with socks. But my instinct is... That the two are related. The fire and the ghosts. Right. You're not buying Olivia's story that some coven of witches came here to unleash ghosts to take revenge by burning it down, though. Right? Right. I think. It's unlikely anyway. You really think what you saw was real? It's worse than that. I think in order to know, I need to see it again. And you need to come with me. Tomorrow. Okay. And then we can plan road trips to find Bigfoot and aliens and the Loch Ness Monster. Hey, sounds fun to me. Road trip! Awesome! But yeah, it was. it is probably a good idea to have someone else with Nancy when she sees the ghost. Just somebody who can independently verify that Nancy is not crazy. I found out something interesting from Lauren Holt. Did you know that Francis Tuttle had a will? Judge Danforth never mentioned that. Because they can't find it, they assume it doesn't exist. So if it does exist, Lauren would get the estate. Yeah. Oh, and that lawyer, Alicia Cole, represents her. How's that working out for her? There doesn't seem to be much progress made. Yeah, well, without a will, what could she really do? It's been a long day. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. You do look kinda... Well, maybe don't video chat with the boyfriend. At least not until you get the twigs out of your hair. <laughs> I appreciate your concern. Hey. What? You want that chowder now? The offer expired. I was going to say... We make a pretty good team. See? That's proof right there. You are definitely hallucinating. Oh, Deirdre. Uh... She can never compliment Nancy, ever. Always an explanation. Gotta remember that. What is the town of Greenwich, New York? Sorry? They have a witch on their emblem. We won! Really? Sending you a pic. When can we expect payment? <laughs> That's a fire department logo. I said police. Public safety. It's all the same. A technicality. <sighs> There's something I have to get off my chest. I saw a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, what? This case. I've never seen anything like it. It felt real. 
I can't explain it. What is it? What's wrong? Uh, hold on. Say no more. It just so happens that ghost hunting is our specialty. Wait, what? We're not passing on a chance like this. Be there before you know it. <laughs> Only if you really want to. Talk to you later. Cool, so the Hardys are going to come tomorrow and help me find the ghost. That's neat. And what's this? Oh no, is this a nightmare? Oh. <laughs> oh no, no, no nightmares, please. No thank you. Yeah? Good morning, sunshine. What time is it? It's early. Hurry up, get dressed, and meet me downstairs. I have something to cheer you up. Well, thanks, sunshine, but, uh, wow, after all those nightmares, I think I'm gonna have a hard time doing things today. Can I just go back to bed? Can I go to sleep? Is that an option, just go back to sleep? A good night's rest improves memory retention, but it's too early for bed. Ah, uh, okay, fine, I'll get up and get on with my day.